I'm Imogen from Waffle TV, and I'm joined here by Jim Jeffries. Hello. Hiya. Um, so what's your show about the show? Um, it's the same as every show that I've done. It's just the uh, material that I've written in the last year, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but this time, I'm I'm not drunk on stage for the first time ever at the so festival. you've been drunk in every other show? <laughs> yeah, this one's called Fully Functional for that reason. This is the first okay. time I'm not... The, the show before was called Al Alcoholicos. The one before that was called Hammered. You know, so I had a running theme. And I thought if I called them after uh, different drunken states that... If anyone complained, I could go, well, the show's called Hammond, so what are you, you going to do? Um, but now, no, I promise to be sober on stage. I still get drunk afterwards occasionally, but I promise to be sober on stage. Do you think it's going to be more difficult to do when you're not drunk? No, it's just, I gave up drinking completely for like eight months, and um, I kind of got used to performing sober. Yeah. Um, but then when I took drinking back up, I did a couple of shows drunk, and I didn't enjoy it as much as I remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. But um, your jokes are always known as quite offensive to mm -hmm. some people, and you actually got punched on stage once, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, 2006 or something, 2005. How do you get back from something like that? Did it not shock you? Um, yeah, of course it shocked me, but it's it's the whole idea that, you know, I've done three, four thousand shows in my life, and I've only been punched once, and it's probably statistically better than being a doorman or even a barman, or, you know what I mean? Or, working any of the bits of the service industry, you know, so I expect probably to get punched again, but uh, at the time it was pretty shocking, but, you know, I expect it to happen yeah. again. Yeah, um, <laughs> and you've actually been on quite a few TV shows, like Never Mind the Buzzcocks, Have I Got News For You, It Out Ten Cats, and, yes. like, how did you get to where you are now? Well, I've got my own TV show in America, so thank mm. you for mentioning <laughs> the small TV shows I've done in Britain <laughs> over the years. Um, what do, you, what do you mean? How do I get there? Like, how did you how did you get into comedy in the first place? Oh, I was I did it at university. I, I did a couple of open spots when I was like seventeen, um, and one of them went good, and the other one went okay. And then my father came to the third one, and I died, and he sort of talked me out of it as a job. He said that it wasn't really for me, and then I took it back up again. When I was twenty two, twenty three. Was that when you started drinking? Oh, I'd started drinking at fourteen. You know, I started drinking very young, but. Uh, but no, I, I think I only got good at comedy around sort of 28, 29. All oh, right, so it's not always what you wanted to do. No, it's always what I wanted to do. It just took yeah, me that just, long to get good at it. <laughs> do you do anything outside of comedy? Well, as I said, at the moment I've got this TV show, so at the moment I'm, I'm writing every day when I'm not performing at night. We've got the scripts already for the TV program and I'm trying to get good at acting. But apart from that, I'm a pinball enthusiast. I have four pinball machines in my house and I plan on getting more. Three? Four. Four? I've got four pinball machines. <laughs> I came 15th in the World Championship. Are they all different? Yeah, they're, of course they're all different. <laughs> they're all the same. Yeah, yeah. You think all pinball machines are the same? No, they're all different games. Well, you were collecting them. Well, not collecting them. I just like to have different games. I don't play video games. I like to play pinball. Um, um, when did you actually realise you were funny? Like, when did you start to think you um, had a chance? I don't remember ever not being funny. <laughs> I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I remember being funny, like, when I was six with my brothers, like, yeah. we were all pretty funny, you know? Um, but I think most people think they're funny because everyone's saying the jokes they want to hear, you know? Yeah. Most people can make themselves laugh. But when did I discover that other people found me funny? Um, yeah, I remember people laughing at me when I was a kid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you ever read any of the sh reviews from your shows? I do and I don't. Uh, if someone says I got a good one, they, they can forward it on to me. I used to read them all the time. I don't, I don't look at myself on the internet anymore. Like, I won't yeah. check this clip out because underneath this clip will have a whole lot of nasty comments. Most of it will be nice, but there'll be people just writing horrible things. Do you think it's quite off-putting for other Oh, it's shows, quite yeah. off-putting, yes. To read horrible <laughs> things about you is upsetting. <laughs> Um, so I, tr I try not to Google myself or read anything about myself, yeah. but sometimes it filters through because people will forward you something that's nasty, and <laughs> once that happens, you can't you can't uh, can't ignore that. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much for this interview. No worries. Yeah. Um, so your show's going to be on every um, every night at 9 p.m. except for the 13th at the Assembly Hall. The Assembly Hall on the mound. <laughs> um, keep watching Waffle TV.